are you doing? So today we're gonna talk about UV unwrapping uh, in Maya, but I'm gonna talk about the general rules, what good UVs are, and how to work efficiently. So even if you don't have Maya, uh, this video can be useful for you. So again, this is something that uh, it's quite a boring and long process if you don't know how to do it and how to work efficiently. So I'm gonna give a couple of tips and see how you can make this easier for you uh, in Maya but not only. Uh, for example, as I mentioned in my modeling tutorial, uh, what do you want is a very simple model. Uh, don't think about the extra edge loops or details um, until you've, you've been unwrapped. Even if you have to extrude or add more, you'll be already half of the way that's at least how I work and I think I save time for UVing. Uh, so let's see. So we have the same model as before, uh, the one I use in my modeling tutorial. If we check the UVs uh, for one of its parts, we can see that's bad, that's not um, unfolded. So when you think of UVs, it's like unfolding a box, so uh, its faces are flat. If we go in our uh, face selection mode, we can um, then move on to the menu, the modeling toolkit menu on the right hand side. And we have different options to sort of mask our selection or limit our selections. For example, here the camera selection. Uh, it's gonna allow us to select only the faces that uh, the camera can see. And we have other selections um, tools like the one here for angle. Uh, we have also UV shells if we've already unwrapped our model. Uh, so let's see how this works. Uh, we, we went to the side view and drag select and we can see that that's pretty much a nice clean uh, selection of just some of the faces uh, because I have the angle selection option selected that is messing up so just press ctrl shift so it selects both it doesn't remove the previous selection and uh, you have to play with the settings and I encourage you to do uh, to see how powerful uh, Maya tools are so with this let's go and do a planner projection uh, let's just check what axis we need. It's the Z axis in our case. Uh, planar projection is what we are going to do mostly because we have these cubic shapes. Um, we've done one side and we can do the other side. And you can see on the bottom right how uh, another projection has been created. We can move it. And so that's already two done. So you can see is it's sort of a repetitive process but it's quite simple and if we keep our model simple we can make this pretty fast quick to do uh, so if our faces uh, our sides are not as if our sides are not as flat like in this example we have this inset part uh, you are not going to be able to just uh, have a uv shell for all those faces um, it's just like in real life, uh, you if you want to unfold that uh, flat, you have to cut away some some faces, some sides, like the walls of that inset, so you can lay them flat on a table, for example. Uh, it's the exact same concept in 3D for UV wrapping. So once we have uh, different UV highlands, UV shells, uh, we want to run the layout so we just right click and go to modify layout uh, the layout command is gonna scale uh, all the shells proportionally to each other and fit them in the 0 to 1 space that gray square uh, that's where all our UV should stay and but uh, it's not really good at utilizing the space efficiently so we're gonna rotate these and line these up so we can use all the UV uh, area um, as I said efficiently because uh, my idea is to fit 
all of this uh, table easel or UVs in one map. And now we're gonna move just a, a face over and see how we can stitch uh, like the borders of shells. So at the moment that sort of polygon uh, square uh, is a one UV shell. Um, if we use the SU tool, uh, you can see how the edge that was meant to stitch with the rest was facing opposite side. Uh, so everything sort of clashed together. But if we right click and go into modify unfold, this is gonna relax it and flatten it out as we need. Again, we can run a layout. So right click modify layout. In this case, since we want to merge all the easel uh, parts uh, together for in one UV map, we don't really, we shouldn't worry about the layout covered because we just gonna run this at the end so everything is proportional to each other. Uh, another way is to stitch edges, so just select an edge. So once we have all the parts together and we we'll run a layout command so everything fits there, we can uh, check that everything looks uh, as it should. So we select our model, let's have a look at our UV map. So one thing is, as you can see, uh, the angle of some UV shells, again, is not very smart. Uh, the shells are touching the borders of that square area that we need to fit them in. And this is not good, we need to leave some some space, some um, you know buffer area around it, as we need to need to, as we need to leave some buffer between all the shells. Uh, we can select the different parts, see how everything looks. But also, you seen the checker map earlier, so if we activate that checker map up here, it's gonna apply to the model. That helps us see if the parts are in fact uh, proportional to each other. So for example, this piece looks pretty nice. We isolated with a command up here to have a look and you see all the squares are squares. There's no stretching. But uh, if you've noticed some other parts don't behave the same. So if we select all the parts again, we can see that in some parts the texture will be stretched. We need to fix that, obviously. See here, the interior looks uh, like it's not proportional with the exterior area. And and the other piece that's running along here, uh, it's very, very bad, some distortion as well. So it's not only the case that the texture should be uh, nice and even on the same part, but also uh, compared to all the other uh, meshes in your scene. If you look up here, we have a button that is going to tell us if um, there are overlapping faces. And there's another one next that's for um, stretching. And that's it fixed. Again, let's run a layout to reproportion parts to each other. There we go. And then we can go on a rotate patch and use our uh, UV space more efficiently. If this was useful, please like and subscribe below. Uh, at the beginning of the video, I said it would be the last boring subject, um, meaning, well, for now, you never know, there's more boring processes that I want to try and facilitate for you. Uh, we're going to talk about maybe 2D graphics and photography. 
let me know what you're most interested in or if you'd like me to talk about something else see if I can help you with that and thank you very much for watching like and subscribe again and see you next time like subscribe below